Hey, how's it going everyone? Zarin here and welcome to part 3 of my Lords of the Fallen Beginner's Guide. So in today's video, we'll be making our way to a new area called Pilgrim's Perch. And at the end of this video, we have unlocked the blacksmith and we'll be able to start upgrading our weapons. But before we go into Pilgrim's Perch, there's actually an item that I forgot to pick up in the last video. So let's make our way over there really quick. So let me just go back this way and take these guys out really quickly. Uh, let's see this guy all right almost there just killing these guys really quick on our way there to get some souls thank you or vigor so I made the mistake <laughs> I made the mistake all right let's uh pull this guy off throw him off all right so the item that I forgot to pick up is go up this ladder right here and then there's gonna be this right here so I totally forgot to pick that up. My fault. So I got a cluster and a pouch. Also, I'll show you guys this real quick. I'm just going to drop down. So right here is going to be a shortcut. We're not going to have access to the shortcut till I'll say probably like part five or six. Um, so in case, anyone's, in case anyone's wondering, like, what's this gate to? How do you unlock it? Uh, we'll be getting that part in a few parts from now. All right, so that was the item that I missed. And also, I don't think he's there anymore, but we can uh, oops, take a look. I wanted to explain more of uh, the stick weapon, actually. Actually, no, I think he already moved on because he moves on once you defeat the bosses. Um, shooting a blank on the guy's name, but the NPC that gave us... Where is that? I'm explaining the last video. He gives us this stick weapon. So I kind of want to explain what this stick weapon is, and I can do this while we make our way to the next area. But essentially, what the stick is, is you want to do his quest line, like I mentioned before, where he's going to show up at different areas throughout the course of the game. You just got to make sure we're talking to him. And then essentially, he is going to you know, pass away at the end of the quest line. And in the area where he's going to pass away at, and granted, I'm going to show you guys where that's at when we get to that point in the game. It's very, very late game, but essentially we're going to find his outfit. And what we want to do there is we want to pick up the outfit, we want to equip the outfit, and then for the stick, we're going to have to level up the stick to plus five, which is going to be the max for the stick. It's not going to really do that much damage. And then in today's video, we'll be going up against the boss that's going to have the dogs that I was talking about. And once we defeat that boss, the dogs would be at Sky Rest. And there, depending on how many times you pet the dog, that's we're going to be buffing up that stick. And the only way for you to get the full benefit of the stick, which is going to give us like the random radiance, inferno type spells, um, is by wearing... Um, the outfit NPC, which I'm shooting a blank on his name. It's a weird, funky name, but if you go back to part two, um, in, in my descriptions, I put the, the name of the quest. Um, so the quest is actually called The Rejected Pilgrim. So if you go to that part, you'll see that NPC. It's like, I'm not even going to try to say his name. It's one of these weird looking names, but, um, but we'll be seeing him not in this part, but in part four. At the start of part four, we'll, we'll run into him again, and I'll be able to break it down who he is and whatnot. I'll remind you guys of that. But I just kind of want to explain a little bit more uh, exactly what the stick is because I mentioned how like it's a very long chain quest but it's mostly just going through his quest line and the the, the longest part is going to be how long you're going to decide to pet the dogs which can be tedious because I know some people have done it for like 30 minutes up to an hour and that's why I kind of figure it's a long one because it kind of just depends on how you want to go about uh, buffing up that stick and whatnot all right so now let's continue on so you could drop a seed here I don't recommend it here we're going to keep on moving we're going to get here to uh, Pilgrim's Perch. Whole new area. So I just kick this guy off. Alright, so he's dead. Now this place can seem very overwhelming at first. And just to let you guys know that we will be... So this essentially, this area has essentially multiple parts to it. We're going to be doing like the basic part and then later on... When we get Stoneman's key, we'll actually come back here to uh, do like the second half of it. So don't stress if you're like, hey, we didn't get to see all of it. We're actually going to, this part actually has multiple uh, uh, layouts. All right, so you go through there. That's going to drop. We're going to get the blood uh, salt here. We're actually going to go into Umbrum real quick. And in this area is going to be quite a bit of jumping mechanics. So I'll be honest, the jump in this game is pretty ass. <laughs> so you may actually fall. Um, I'm going to recommend a spot to put a seed in in a second. In case you're having issues, um, but here we got a knife. I'm gonna go back here, 
We're gonna jump. And we're gonna go back up top. Alright. And then I'm going to uh, buff up my weapon. Cool. And then we go up here. And then we're gonna fight a dead guys. Take these guys out. Boom. So I recommend putting a seed right here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put one here. The reason why I recommend doing that is because again this area it can be annoying because you could easily get knocked off. You could easily uh, miss the miss time the jumps and fall off to your death. Because we will be will be jumping back and forth between Umbrum and Exium, so I just recommend planting a seed there. I mean, we're not that far from the next vestige, but with this being your first time coming through this area, if you die, we're gonna end up going all the way back to the other vestige that we were just um, we're just at, so at a Sky uh, Skyrest Bridge. So I recommend just putting a seed there, just so that way, if you are dying, you're not having to backtrack through all the stuff like that. Um, so this door right here, again, like I mentioned in part one. You could buy the Pilgrim's Perch key from Stoneman. I don't recommend doing that because it does cost a lot of money. So what I do recommend doing is just at some point in the game, he's actually going to leave and he'll drop the key for us free of charge. Um, but if you want, you could buy the key. You'll unlock this. It's going to be some, I believe it's armor back there. Um, and then I'll also show you the other door to unlock. So it takes you to another area that's, at this point in the game, is difficult, but it's doable. You will get a lot of levels, but again, you're spending almost 18k for a key, and that's a couple levels there. They can just kind of wait until he eventually drops it. All right, so let's continue on here. I'm actually going to rest real quick. So we just get out of Umbral. And we're going to be going against a new enemy type in this video. And they're pretty much the spiky head guys. Um, these guys, they hit hard. They hit very, very hard. <laughs> um, they can take a lot of damage. So essentially, the tactics you want to use on, on this particular area when you fight them is we want to be throwing them off the edge by using Soul Flay. So we're about to go up against our first one here. The reason why I went out of Umbro real quick is because if we stayed in Umbro, we're going to have the normal enemies spawning constantly, and then we got to deal with this guy. Um, so he's going to actually be... Um, he's right there, straight ahead. Um, this guy is going to be shooting us down, so what we're going to try to do is try to pick him off before we aggro that guy. Sometimes we're going to aggro him regardless. But essentially what's going to happen, he's going to charge up and run down these stairs. What we want to do is soul flame and just toss him off. You could recommend, I, I, you could fight them um, if you want to kind of see how their mechanics are. But essentially these guys hit hard. They will knock you down. They could potentially one-shot you depending on your health and whatnot. So I just recommend when you see these big guys, just toss them off. It's just going to make your life so much easier. And I guarantee, see, we got that lantern right there. I guarantee that lantern is tied to <laughs> that guy getting, uh, killing the player there. So let's actually, let me pick these guys up. And then we'll activate the lantern. So I can't remember if I explained it in the, uh, the previous video. I believe I did. So with this, God dang it, that guy up there. Yeah, that guy is a... Uh, So what this lantern is, is, this allows us to revenge a fallen player who died and it's going to take us to the enemy that killed him, which like I said is that spiky head guy because that guy kills quite a bit of people. Um, so I'm not surprised that we get a revenge thing. So I highly recommend doing these. The enemy will be a little bit harder. In this case, since it's that spiky guy, we can just toss him off. The reason why we want to do it is because we want to... Uh, sorry, I'm trying to pick off that guy from the top. Anyway. We'll just get him right here. So we're going to go here. He's going to charge down at us. So yeah, I was right. So that's the name of the player got killed. So we're just going to soul flay it. Toss him off. We're good. All right, he's dead. So the reason why you want to do the revenge is because it's going to give us three pluck eyeballs. And that is going to allow us to be revenged um, that character. And we got the three pluck eyeballs. So the three pluck eyeballs, what that is going to be is that is going to be a currency that's going to allow us to buy um, the Umbral Scouring. Um, so that's going to let us, by us buying that, we'll be able to get one step closer to buying boss weapons. Uh, okay. So we killed all that there. So now we're going to go into Umbrum. So go like that. Cool. And then we got a new path here. We can explode these and kill these guys. Oh, he wasn't. He was too far away. 
But that's why I like to just kind of save there and then kind of go uh, into Exium because that way we're not dealing with those guys. All right, so we're going to go up here. Sometimes this jump can be a pain like you just saw there. <laughs> I literally was running and I hit the jump button and he did not jump. So, um, so yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I guess like he gets stuck on it, but so, yeah. So that's why I recommend just dropping a seed there. The ones you'd have to backtrack all the way through there. Um, fortunately, we're going to have to fight that guy again, but it's all good. So, get some more bacon forward and whatnot. So, again, this guy right here is so annoying. All right, one more should do it. Got him. All right, perfect. Go up top, wait for this guy to run down. Again, and he's going to soul flame. There you go. All right, easy peasy. Oops! God damn it, the lock on. <laughs> oh man, the lock on in this game. <laughs> He's so annoying. All right, so we're gonna try this again. Go back into Umbro. Let's do this. Explode that to kill those guys there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Get a run and start. Jump. There we go. All right, here we're gonna pick up some more uh, wither salts. I'm gonna go here. Sweet, made the jumps. Alright, uh, let's buff up my weapon. Ooh, when I was kinda bigger to level up too, so I'm gonna let's pick these guys up from far since so they're blocking where I'm gonna be landing at. Perfect. And then let's get this jump. Ooh, perfect. This is gonna be a bow and some arrows, so if you are doing any type of uh like an archer class or whatnot, you can good bow to start yourself off with. Uh, let's go. Actually, uh, I'm actually gonna go here and just reset. Uh, so again, get that one point there. All right. So now I got my endurance and vitality to 15. I'm going to actually get my radiance up to about 30. All right. So I'm just gonna reset just because you know. This, this fight these guys right here are fairly easy, so it's got a little, little quick little good farming tactic. And who knows, sometimes the revenge thing will uh, respawn right here. So another way to kind of like get an extra set of three eyes if need be. Alright, let's pick this guy up. Oh, he's out of my range now. Come on, come back in. Come back. Alright. He's going to just drop down. Alright. Uh, and again, soul play. And also, this is also great practice just to get a feel for how to soul play enemies. All right, we're good. He died. Get the vigor. And go up top. This guy should still be up there. Yeah, there he is. And of course, he drops down. Let's do that. There you go. Didn't drop anything. Of course not. All right. Let's see, we're gonna pick this up. That's for the previous guy. And then we got a plane shield. So if you have uh, strength and agility, uh, you can go with the plane shield. But since we already have our shield for the most of the game, since so we're a radiant user, we can use this. But if you're someone who's using like agility type character or strength, you could use that shield here. Alright, so now we're gonna go into Umbral. And then we've got some platforming we gotta do. So we're gonna pull that there. And essentially we're gonna go across or we're gonna kick that platform that's gonna unlock the shortcut. So in case we die, we don't have to worry about doing this again. We can kinda of just run across. So we're gonna do that. We'll just drop down. And then we're gonna kick us. Now we got a shortcut. And now we're gonna go down here and get a uh, gesture. So grab that. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to climb up, and we don't... So, once we get up here, you don't want to go completely across just yet, because there is going to be one of those spiky head guys hiding. You can see him, he's right there. So what you want to do is kind of walk here, we're going to shoot these two guys down, and then we're going to bait him out, and then we're going to soul flay him off the edge. So, we'll just do this. Should aggro him like that. 
Uh, he's gonna whip himself. He's gonna start to charge at us. Sometimes they can. Sometimes he'll reel. He will run off. But there he did not. Did I get any time? Yes. He also took a hit there. So that's the charge attack I was talking about. Uh, the reason why I didn't do anything because I was hoping he would have like ran off the edge because normally they will do that. Uh, but unfortunately, he did not do that. So I'm gonna just heal myself here with my spells because I want to just um, save my crosses for like major heals. All right, got all that. We're not gonna leave just yet, as the exit is like right there. We're not gonna do that just yet. We're actually gonna go over here, and then uh, let me grab this real quick. We're gonna go down here, and we're gonna get a really good relic. So I'm gonna go down. No need to plant a seed here. There's really no need. So we're gonna get this item right here. Oh, actually, not a relic. It's a ring. I got ahead of myself. So this ring is going to give us uh, three points of vitality. So we're going to equip that. So now we got more HP. We're, we're going to get a relic at the uh, about halfway through this uh, Pilgrim's Perch area. That's going to be really good. Essentially, what it's going to do, it's going to give us uh, HP. Uh, maximum uh, HP buff. All right. So we got the ring there. So now we can... Exit now. Good, good, good. Perfect, perfect. Let me just pop one of these. Uh, let's see. We oh yeah, we're good. All right. Now we're gonna go up top here. Don't mind that uh, item right there. We'll be picking it up in a second. And then just gonna kill these guys real quick. So that guy has a parasite, so we're not going to be able to hurt him. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump across. And then we can siphon him from here. There we go. Perfect. Wait for this to kind of turn back around, and then we're going to jump across. Like I said, sometimes the jumping in this game can be a pain. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. And then we're going to jump across. Good, good. Alright, easy peasy. Pick this up right here. So this is a uh, strength agility short sword. So we're going to look at that. Oh, agility uh, short sword. Alright, and then we're going to go up top. Again, it's it looks like it's very overwhelming. <laughs> I was thinking this to myself. I was like, man, like... When I first went through here, I was like, "What? where the fuck do I have to go? Like, this is crazy. But now that I've, like, done this so many times, I'm like, oh, it's actually not that bad uh, once you actually know the layout. All right, so we're going to go up top here. We are actually are going to go into Umbrum. So we're going to go into Umbrum here. So we destroyed the bomb. Things are behind us. We're going to go over here. This should be a uh, ring, I believe. I remember correctly. Yeah, this is a ring. Oops, the game is freezing on me. So yeah, this gives us increased resistance to bleed. So today's boss is going to be doing bleed damage, so we're having a hard time uh, dealing with her uh, her bleed mechanics. Uh, then you can uh, equip that ring, but you're not going to need it. We're going to shoot this guy down. We got another spiky head guy up down below. We're going to soul flame in a second. We just want to kind of get down here and kite him over here a little bit uh, oops yeah, gotta love it gotta love it so I realized they actually changed some of the enemy layouts in this uh, in this area so if I remember correctly when the game first came out there used to be two of the spiky head guys here I remember like being like oh shit this is intense so I think they actually removed some uh, enemies from certain areas. All right, I'm trying to like take out the other guy because again, the lock on in this game can be a bitch. All right, oh no, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. There we go. Okay, cool. Now let's take this guy out. So when I get him, let's see if we can charge him over the edge. Perfect, nice. All right, so got a bell staff. Uh, got everything there. I want to get the uh, get these. 
Um, so those guys that were killing I'll point them out in a second. Uh, they have a chance of dropping a, uh, a catalyst for us that we can actually use. Alright, so we're going to pull this here. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go across here. Make this jump. Good, good, good. Buff myself up. Perfect, perfect. Avoid all this. Lock on here. But yeah, those little... Uh, so you can see them. These guys have been killing there with the stats that have been shooting the magic at us. So they actually have a chance to drop a catalyst for us. Um, that's an upgrade from the one that we're currently using now. Don't know what the drop rate percentage is, but on my few playthroughs, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. So if you want, if you're playing as a paladin user, you could just try to keep killing these guys and farming it and hopefully they'll drop it. Um, so hopefully they'll, we'll see if they drop it for us, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna go over here. This is a shortcut that we were just down there if we wanted to, if we were to die, but we should be fine. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna grab this. So we got that. Good, good. All right, so what we're gonna do here I totally forgot. <laughs> I just remembered. Go back down here. And then this is the item that we're going to get. It's going to be a sword. Here we go. Drop that. And you see the spiky head guys down there? That's the one that we uh, had him run off the edge. So then we just pick them off. Let's uh, pop a mana stone. Actually, no. I'll just soul play them. Let's pull them forward. There we go. Alright. Perfect. All right, uh, let me show you guys the item that we just got. Uh, where is it? It's this right here. They so say it's agility. All right, and I'm gonna jump across. Okay, got the soul. Essentially, we're just backtracking up. Good thing is we got the shortcut, so we can actually just uh, take the shortcut. All right, you go up here. All right, so far so good. So we're in it, we're close to the vestige. So we're just gonna actually beeline it for the vestige, so we can get it that way. In case we were to die, um, we'll be able to spawn there instead of back at our uh, our seed. Uh, so we're just gonna go up here now that we got this shortcut here, and then we're gonna go this way. And it's gonna be a spiky head guy. Um, I recommend, I mean, you could try to fight him. Yes, we could. He's got a parasite. But I just recommend running past him just because of, we don't want to die right here, but I'll just take him out. Because the best is just literally right behind him. Let's wait for him to run out. Ooh, it's perfect. He fell off. The question is, did he die though? Yeah, he should have died. All right, cool, he died, <laughs> like perfect. Uh, let's go up here. I recommend running past him to get the vestige in case you die, but we were able to kill him. And you can see here, though, now that we're staying here a lot longer, <laughs> more enemies are spawning now, so that's why I'm always like, just get the vestige and get out. But it's all good, we were able to take that out. So now we're gonna go here, and we get the vestige here. So we are good go. I'm going to just rest here to reset everything. Um, you could try to farm that spiky guy a little bit. They do drop some good vigor. A lot of times you will see a red lantern here because usually that enemy kills quite a bit of people. So this is a great spot to kind of farm for the pluck eyeballs. Alright, so we're just going to start putting points in my radiance. Uh, we're so close to love one up. Let me pop a skull. I'm going to pop one more. Here we go. Alright. So that puts that at 20. Good. Okay. So now we got a new NPC. This is Byron. Here's Byron. Another lamp should you and I'll tell he's not going to tell us his name until next time we run into him. But, nothing um, but essentially, Mind he's got a very a short quest line. Mind yourself. Use on so a got to talk to him. Mind yourself. Use on a treasure. So we're going to end up seeing him in a different area. Um, 
Again, same thing to start all the quest lines for each of the characters. You want to make sure you are talking to the characters um, just to unlock their quest line. So he's going to show up at some point later on. Actually, he'll show up in part five. No, no, no. He'll show up in the next part. Um, and then we'll uh, talk to him there again. And he'll show up later on. And then eventually we'll get to like the end of his quest line where we have to do something for him. Um, so yeah, we'll go over here. Pick this up. This is going to be a map of the Pilgrim's Perch. So if we look at the map there, it's kind of showing us where we need to go to. So this door right here, if we had the Pilgrim Perch key, this will take us into the area that I was mentioning that for some players can be pretty difficult, uh, especially at this stage in the game. But for someone who's like, I think I can handle it, and you want to spend the 18k on Stolman's key, you could go in there. Uh, again, you will get some pretty good. Uh, we'll take you to the next area, but it's. It's pretty beefy, to <laughs> be honest. Uh, but totally up to you. Like I said, on my first playthrough, I actually bought the key after I completed what I thought was this whole area. Um, but it took me a couple of tries. I was able to get through there. It's not that bad. But again, if you're someone who's new to this type of uh, this type of game, I recommend just waiting. And also, 18 vigor. You want to save that. All right. So I already talked to him. Just on a Go there. We already got that. All right. So now we can continue on. And we're about, yeah, we're pretty much, I would say a little bit more than halfway through this first part of the Pilgrim Perch. So I'll take these guys out. Good, good, good. What do they drop for us? Alright, perfect. And get all the vigor we need. We'll go this way really quick. The shortcut here, that will come a little bit later. Once we uh, have the key. Get this here. Kill. Let's kill this guy first. And I can lock on to this guy. There we go. That guy's dead. Uh, we'll shoot this guy down for shits and giggles. We're eventually gonna run into him later on. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going to an area that's gonna actually is going to take us above all this. So we're actually gonna take a, a passageway. It's gonna take us up here, and we'll be like on top of there, and we're gonna. Uh, do that. There's a shortcut right there, so that's why you want to start up here, go down there, release this shortcut. That way, if we were to die, we have the shortcut access here. Essentially, what we're doing is we're going down uh, words. But all right, got that. So we're gonna backtrack this way. Just wanted to show you guys that. Pick up those items. So we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go into Umbro. Ooh. All right, destroyed all that. Let's get the vigor here. We are going to be going up against one of these moth ladies in a second. So again, I always recommend being aggressive with her. Gotta love that lock on. Gotta love it. <laughs> Alright, wait for my stamina to go back up. Alright, she's summoning ads. Back up, back up, back up, back up. There we go. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. There we go. Alright, let's get some combos in here. Pick these guys off. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ooh, wow, he hit me right through my combo. All right, good, good, good. All right, get that, get that. There's some stuff there. All right, we're gonna get an eye right here. So we could have like tried to kite her into this area right here where all the exploding things are, but I find that sometimes she doesn't always do that. So that's why I didn't recommend uh, doing that because sometimes she won't. And if she doesn't follow you, she's gonna keep spawning the ads. So that's what I'm just like, it's best to just, in my opinion, just to kill her. So, just kill her right away. I mean, you could, we could have just ran up this way, have her, like, try to kite her, and then done all this, but sometimes she doesn't follow you. She just keeps summoning that. So that's why I'm like, eh, it's best just to kill her. Alright, I'm gonna go through here. We're gonna get um, the really good armor, actually, for our character here. So, if we're gonna go here, this is going to be, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit heavy, uh, but we're ready to see here, we're very low, 
but you can see it's a big beefy armor for us look at that the physical 55 go from 50 it's pretty much 100 um and then fire goes up holy goes down a little bit but we're okay and the weather will stay the same so i recommend just equipping this it's pretty good uh, that gonna get weapon swap for us or gear swap so and we're it's going to be uh, let's see i don't think it was oh yeah it isn't it's not the it's the helmet yeah oh i could wear the sister's helmet but that's a heavy i could do that i think i will just because it is an upgrade uh yeah i'll do it we're still good and heavy yeah we'll stay like that uh let's see uh, let's see i'll go like that there we go so since we got the drop for the the sister's helmet all right so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna get the resistant bomb to bleed let's buff this up all right now we're gonna go up here fire our way through all this Good, good. Perfect. Grab here. All right, some fire salt. Keep going. There's going to be these enemies. Throw this one right here. Good. Let's exit out of Umbrum. Perfect. All right, uh, we're gonna go over here really quick. There's gonna be another cosmetic. It's right there, the Pride Bound, which actually looks pretty clean, to be honest. Uh, where is it at? It's like a blue ruby type color. Maroon, you want to look at it? All right, so down here, we're going to have a new enemy type. This guy right here, he's a radiant user. What he's going to do is he's going to charge up his shield, and essentially he's going to kind of do Captain America and like throw like a holy shield toss at us. Um, so you want to be wary of that. We're going to have a couple of those wizard guys. It is a spike guy. Should be. He's somewhere around here. I wonder if they removed him. There used to be a spiky head guy somewhere. I'm not seeing him down here. They may have removed him. I guess I'm noticing they, re they removed quite a few enemy types. I think they removed it. Hold on. I think they did. Because there used to be a spiky helmet enemy guy here. Because you had to deal with this guy. And he'd be like uh, hanging out over here and then the strategy is you run over this side and you just kind of soul flame on either side or have them run off so yeah i noticed yeah they're they were moving enemy types that's interesting yeah because he's not here okay um all right that changes quite a few things then yeah he's not here all right <laughs> oh get the shortcut that's interesting okay all right we'll just go over here so we can just soul flay this guy off but yeah, essentially you will run over here, you have this guy and then the spiky guy. Spiky guy will usually run off, and then this guy, you'll just soul flame off the edge. Like that. Oh, of course it didn't work. That's all good. Even legit. But yeah, he does that. Let me try to get him right here. Uh, did I get him? Did I get him? Oh, he's going to go to the edge. Did I get him? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, during my first playthrough, I thought his shield was so badass. I was like, oh, I want that shield because I'll be able to, like, in my mind, I'm thinking I'll be able to use that ability he does where he, like, buffs it up and does a Captain America. You don't. You don't. Um, so, yeah. All right. Kill this thing. Hopefully they drop uh, the Catalyst. So, yeah, that Catalyst they're using. Oh, shit. Um, it actually drops and you can actually uh, use it. But I've only seen it drop once from me when I was on one of my playthroughs. Oh man, I'm like disappointed. They actually removed the enemy type from here. But yeah, there was a spiky head guy here. Cause I remember one of the strategies I used to do is I'll like come over here and like have him run off. But alright. Uh, we can kill these guys with shits and giggles. Totally up to us. Totally up to you. Get somewhere bigger. All right, so for Dummir, you want to grab this for him. This is another uh, quest item for him. So you want to grab that. So we got everything so far. 
Now we're gonna go into Umbrome. We're gonna grab another uh, stigma. So right here, grab that. Good there. All right. Now we're gonna come across over here. No need to plant a seed there because we essentially got both of the shortcuts. Well, actually, no. We didn't get the second shortcut. The second shortcut's like further down there, but. Uh, yeah, let's get the second shortcut for you guys. I'll just get it for you guys. It's so actually, hold on. I'll go back this way. I'll jump across. Let's kill these guys really quick. Kill those guys. Alright, got a scouring. <laughs> I realized when I was in my two video, I kept saying scoring. Because I was, I was like just trying to be quick with it. And I was like, oh, it's scouring, you idiot. Um, Alright, I got a spiky hit guy here. Just throw him off. There we go. Alright, let's get this other shortcut that I forgot to get. Alright, so there we go. Let's drop that there. Pull that here. Alright. So, well, it's not really a shortcut because we can just easily hop over there. But in case we were to die, we do have the shortcut to go up this way. But that just allows us to kind of run across. I actually have to now I think about it. My bad. <laughs> Alright. So I'll go back up here. So now we're going to get the the relic or pendant, I you want to look at it, that I mentioned earlier. It's actually right here. So first, let's actually get this. This is going to be the head cage. Oh, there, that's the enemy type. And then... Let's see, you want some mana stone. So, the, I like to deal with this this way. So, that moth lady, and the way the lock on this game works, it's just so bad. So, I recommend, to be honest, just shooting these guys off from afar. Once you kill the moth person, then I recommend uh, then actually going across. I mean, yeah, she's going to keep summoning these guys here, but I just recommend just killing her from here. Let's pop one of these. I'm just going to keep shooting her down. So. It's a pain in the ass to get over there. This thing will go back. But I just wanted to get her. Alright. I think we almost got her. Got to hurry up though. Back in, there we go. Right there. Perfect. Okay, sweet. Now we can handle these guys. Alright, now that she's dead, this makes things a lot easier. A tactic you could use is we could just run over there and try to soul flare her off, but it's a hit or a miss, to be honest. So I recommend just shooting her from afar. Especially with the lock on not being that great. Alright, so we're going to pull this out right here. So here we got the moth, and then here is going to be the relic that I was talking about. I'm going to uh, show you guys that in a second. I just want to kind of get out of here. All right, Ooh, these things follow me. All right, let's keep going. All right. I'm going to show you guys the relic in a second. I just kind of want to get through here really quick. So we're going to go down here really quick. I'm looking at my... Uh, the dread. I want to make sure I don't stay in here for too long. Alright, so we're going to grab that. That's going to be a vigor there. There's another shortcut right there. So what we want to do is we're going to drop down here. And then let's kill this guy really quick. Remember, the longer we stay here, the more enemies are going to spawn. So I'm trying to. And the exit is like right here. I want to pull this out. Need this. This is going to be a bull. Oh, I've got a moth. Okay, hold on. Let me just. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, let me heal myself. Hold on. Let's get out of here real quick. Let's go up. Let's just go up. We'll come back here in a second. I just want to get the shortcut. Because uh, I'm in here for too long, so now I'm just going to keep spawning. 
So we're just going to uh, get out of here really quick. Kill this guy. Perfect. Let's just get out of here real quick. We'll go back there in a second because we are there are a few items we can pick up. Just want to get the this right here. So now we got the shortcut. All right, and I can actually show you guys the relic. So the relic here it will give you increased maximum health. So it's totally up to you. You can equip it, give you a little bit of, a little bit of boost in health. Totally up to you. Um, but if you're someone who feels like you need a little bit of extra HP, then I do recommend just equipping it. Um, I feel comfortable, so we still have the buff, but the having the low equipment. So I'm actually I'm just going to uh, not equip it, but totally up to you. This being your first time, I do recommend just having it equipped because all the extra HP is always going to be a plus. So we're going to go back into Umbrum because there's some items down there that we want to get. So. Uh, let's see. There's only one of the, the ladies down there. It should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Let me pop one of these. Oh, shit, okay. We'll see if I die. We'll see if I die. <laughs> I need some help. Alright. I feel like if we're staying too long in the umbrum. Alright, 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 alright. We get it, we get it. Way too many enemies here. But it's all good. There you go. Again, gotta love that lock on, right? <laughs> she got me the last second. Okay. Heal myself. Yeah, cause the thing is, you want to get in there before uh, they start to spawn, but. I got greedy. Get that. She's almost dead. There we go. Alright, we're good. Alright, got the bull. <laughs> and the bull is going to be important. Um, so the bull came from the obstacle that we pulled out there. Um, so the bull is going to be a quest item for uh, Halhu. And uh, essentially... Sorry, I'm trying to. If I can give myself an angle. There we go. Uh, I want to shoot this down. Um, so essentially, that bowl we turn it into him, and that's going to allow us to um, be able to start buying boss weapons and gear. So that's why that's very important to get. You don't want to miss that. All right, so I'm gonna pull all these. Gonna need a charge here. All right, so let's get out of here for all these moth ladies start to spawn. So let's get out of here. So learn from my mistake. <laughs> but essentially what you want to do is you want to try and get uh, um, the bull obviously down there. You want to shoot that thing down. And then want to go over here. And then, hold on, I'll kill these guys because these guys are annoying. And essentially there's an item here. Cool, perfect, so we got that. All right, let's go. Got the shortcut, got that. Go down here, pop one of these. All right, so now we're pretty much almost done. Gotta hurry up though, because our dread's going up. Let's kill this guy. Kill that guy. Make sure you have a, at least a charge here. Um, we're going to need that because we're going to have one of those spiky head guys. Don't go down the ladder. There's enemies down here. Just drop down. Kill these guys there. You could have done the explosion thing from here, but I like to do the plunge. So grab that. Grab that. This guy has a parasite, but you can just pick it off from here. Come on. There you go. Uh, I'm actually going to shoot him down because the spiky guy is going to be down on the right. Show up as soon as I drop down. There we go. Alright, there he is. Uh, try to kill these enemies real quick. Alright, I gotta hurry. 
Hurry up, the dread's going up. Come on, charge at me. Just grab him and toss him off. There we go. All right, got all this, got all this. This is why you don't want to stay in Umbra for too long. Because there's a heap spawning and they are annoying. All right, so we got to find this to open it. So the first one's going to be right here. Do that. So that's going to be one. The second one is going to be over here. Right there. And the last one's going to be below us. So we're going to have to go down there. That. Buff ourselves up here. We can just run past all these guys. Because the dread is going up. Kill this guy right here. Good. Right. Last and final ones right here. So let's make sure you have the lamp equipped like I didn't do there. Oops. Gotta hurry up. Alright, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Alright, I'm gonna pull this out. Alright, what do we get? We got the Book of Sins. This is another quest item for Damir. Alright, now we're good to open the door. Alright, so now we're gonna go over here. Open this. Alright, perfect, perfect go down this ladder. We could plant a seed here, but there's no need because we're about to be at the checkpoint for the vestige where we saw Byron. Kill these guys really quick. Since I'm in here a little bit too long, <laughs> I'm actually am going to just run to the ladder, or the ladder, the elevator, because we're so close to getting the Red Reaper and I don't want that. So, kill these guys really quick. Actually, no, I'm just getting the shortcut. I don't want to deal with the Red Reaper. So this elevator is going to take us back up to where Byron is at and then our vestige. So this allows us to get out of Umbral. See, now we're here. We've got the shortcut now. So we can actually just rest, get out of Umbral completely. Because we don't want to spend too much time there. All right, I'm going to upgrade. I can start putting points into Radiance. Perfect. Want to have a little bit of vigor on me because we're going to need that to uh, upgrade our weapons here in a bit. All right, so now we go back down. And now we're about to uh, find the blacksmith and we can start upgrading our, uh, our weapon and shield. Then I can explain her mechanics as well. Okay, now that we're here, there's three guys here. There's going to be two here. Try not to let them knock you down, because there's going to be three dogs down below and one of those holy radiant guys with the shields. So just kill these guys off. Hopefully they drop. Nope, they didn't drop the catalyst. Like I said, it's a rare drop. All right, so I'm going to cut across here. Grab that. Drop down. So there's going to be three dogs. We're just going to pick them off with our spells. You could go down there and try to fight them, but again, just for ease, just do this. All right, there's one there. There's one off here in the corner. So, but we'll wait. There's going to be one of these Radiance guys here. The third dog is right here. But where is the Radiant guy? He's like walking around. There he is. Try to get a plunge attack on him, to be honest. There we go. Got that. Let me kill this dog. Good. Alright, and then we can kill this dog right here. Alright, perfect. So if we had the perch key on us, we could open this door. This requires the perch key, and this will take us to the other another section of Pilgrim's Perch with some good stuff. So we got the prison key. So what we're gonna do. 
is we're going to talk to the blacksmith. That go to her dialogue. It's going to give you the choice of whether or not you want to hand her the key or not. Hand her the key because no, this is the blacksmith. And this is going to let us upgrade our weapons. Doing an, um, she's talking to her companion over there. Doing which an, we'll get into them doing a little bit later. An, doing an, so you want to talk to all that. So what we want to do here is we want to just exit real quick. And then by us doing this, she is going to go back. She's going to not go back, but she's going to go to Sky Rest and we'll be able to start upgrading our weapons and our shield. And then I can explain her mechanics, but no need to go back to uh, the Vestige. You can just exit and then jump back in again and that should be gone. And then that door will be open and then there'll be some uh, fragments in there. And those are the fragments we use to upgrade our weapons. You see now the door is open. So you can go in there and get these fragments. So now we're going to go into Umbrome. Like that. Let me go here. I believe this is going to be another ring. Yes. Exit that really quick because that will close on you. I think this is a resistant ring, right? Oh, all status effects ring. This is the resistant bleed. This is all status effect. All right. So we are good with this area. But yeah, if we have the perch key we can go in there but fortunately we'll wait we're actually going to go back to the vestige because we're going to go to sky rest and we are going to start upgrading our weapon uh, yeah uh, this dropped earlier the lucky paw essentially just, just increases the discovery rate so you get better drops for stuff and then this one right here dropped as well earlier in the video essentially what this is is if you use this if you die you don't lose your vigor upon death all right so let's actually now go to sky rest and then we are going to turn in our items to Damir, and then we'll go upgrade our weapons and also turn items to uh mohu to uh, start getting boss weapons so let's actually just go into home book now so we're gonna go up here we can hand in now the bowl. And then this allows us to do the remembrance. And this is how we buy boss weapons. So the weapon that we're going to want to get is going to be the Pieta's, uh, her sword here. And you can see there's a full, full blown, holy weapon. I'll be honest, my first playthrough, I use this weapon pretty much for the whole playthrough. It's going to be just really good for us. Um, so fortunately, we need 40 scouring. We're at 24 right now. That's one of the reasons why I recommend. Um, if you see the vengeance lamps, just do them because that way you get the pluck eyeballs. And it allows us to go here and to buy more of the scouring just to kind of help us out. We got 18 right now, so I could start buying that if I want to, but I think I'm going to wait until I get close to. Um, actually, hold on. Let me do the math. Let me, let me do the math. Let's do some quick math real quick. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, someone was at my door. Um, but yeah, so I have 18 here, so essentially I could buy, what, six right now if I wanted to? Yeah, I could buy six right now if I wanted to. Put me at 30. So yeah, so I'll wait until I get to about, yeah, 34, and then I can actually uh, buy those, and I'll be able to get to the 40-year life quicker. So, But that's why I recommend just doing the, the Vengeance. If you see it, just do it because again, you get those three plus eyeballs, and that allows you to get one step closer to buying the currency to get the weapon. All right, so go here. If he has the moth right next to talk, you want to turn it in. So we got to turn in the While scripture. The handling all facets. Of we have another one here, which is the book of sin. While even the hand all facets of the two fellow so one talking to him to kind of go through his dialogue. The council, an apparat, Harrowwood, a fitting place for one. Whatever poise for they are nothing but the. All right. And then later on, he'll start to have more items in his inventory, but right now you won't. I think it's like the next one we turn in, he'll start to have more. Actually, let's, uh, let me do a quick rest real quick. I want to see if I rest, if I'll reset it. Let's just rest real quick. Because at some point, we're going to turn in, um one item and then eventually his inventory is going to just increase with a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be really good for our paladin build we're working on so let me just double check you'll serve a higher yeah see here crusader. now the gear dropped i had to just reset them um so yeah so now this here dropped if you wanted to but fortunately we got some pretty good stuff already 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're good. All right, so now let's go to uh, let's go upgrade our weapons. Should be able to get it to like plus three, plus four. All right, so we're gonna talk to her. Go to her stuff. She's gonna give us her quest line. So what her quest line is is we have to find three tablets out in um, in the world and we turn them in. Essentially, each tablet is going to allow her to add runes to our weapons or our shields, and those runes are going to be clutch. Um, when it comes to the third tablet, we're going to have a choice of whether giving it to her or giving it to Sparky. Um, I recommend giving it to her because this is going to allow you to get the third rune slot. And then what's going to happen is essentially she'll be able to create this all-powerful rune. And what that rune does is whatever you have it equipped in, whether it's a shield, whether it's a sword, it's going to remove the, re we it's going to remove the weapon requirements. So if you're someone's like, oh, I, want, I really want to use a certain weapon, but it has like, let's just say hypothetical, 35 radiance and like, I don't know, 50 strength. By you equipping that rune to that weapon, it will remove the requirements and it lets you use the weapon freely. And then, um, yeah, so I recommend finishing our quest line. So that way, if you want to use a really good beefy sword without having to dump stats into it, you can use that sword or that weapon right off the bat. Um, same thing when it comes to the shield as well. And also her runes just are really good you've been able to attach runes because all the runes have its own different perks and whatnot all right so so once we turn that thing yeah let's turn the first tablet we'll be able to have access to the runes so what we're gonna do here is gonna upgrade our uh, preacher hammer because this is gonna be our main weapon until we get the enough to buy a um, the sword uh at this sword. Uh, I'm looking to see if I have enough here. I should. Not enough bigger. Alright. Uh, I'll just pop some uh, pop some of these, shall we? The game is going really slow right now for me. Uh, I don't know why that's the frames. Is, it's really lagging on me. Alright. Okay, let's upgrade this. Perfect. All right, so I got a plus uh, three. Okay, and then I'm actually am going to do my shield as well. Like I said, you don't have to do this if you want to, but this shield I use pretty much for the whole game. Um, the reason why I want to upgrade the shield, because like I said, once we start to get her tablets in, we'll be able to attach more runes um, and whatnot. So I'm just gonna upgrade um, my shield now. So that way when I'm able to put rune slots in, I'm already good. And then let's also upgrade our catalyst here just so we can get a little bit of extra damage. Uh, do one more. All right, we're good. That's a plus two. All right, good, good, good. All right, we are good. Uh, so turning all that, did that there. Yep, we are good to go on to the next boss. So now we're going to go back to the bell room and now we're going to go up against the next boss here and then that's going to be it for uh, today's video. So if you remember from part two, uh, we ran to the NPC. She didn't give us her name yet. We ran to an NPC right before we did the last boss. We're about to run into her now. Um, she's going to finally reveal who she is and we'll be able to start buying um, stuff from her inventory. And then I can go a little bit more in depth about what her quest line is. All right, so all these guys will respawn. So essentially, we're going here to the right. So just watch out for these guys because they will push you over. Good. They dropped the catalyst. Damn it. I want that catalyst. All right, kill him. So yeah, so these guys, we could sit here and farm for a bit. Again, they will drop a catalyst. It's going to be an upgrade from what we currently have now. But it's not the end all be all. But it does help. It gives you an extra spell slot, if I remember correctly. All right, so we're gonna go down here. And then we're going against the next boss. Uh, let me just check to see if I have, maybe I picked it up by mistake. No, I didn't pick it up. Damn it. 
Probably kind of wants to go farm for that, but again, the drop rate, I don't know. So. That's all good. Again, we'll be coming back to Pogan's Perch at some point, so maybe it'll drop then. But I think by then I'll already have a better catalyst by then. Alright, so we're going to go here. And there she is. So, so you want to just go through her dialogue, talk to her. Story. She's going to finally reveal her Fuck name. Name's where she's she's Damrose. Um, cut them down. So now we have access to uh, her inventory. You can buy some stuff. You can buy the Inferno uh, spell. You can buy grenades. You already have that. You can buy a fifth weapon. Um, so essentially, it go her dialogue. Cut them down. It so again, she is going to be tied to... And take what they've got so again, there's three endings in this game. The first ending is going to be the Radiance ending. If we cleanse one beacon, she'll eventually be a boss later on. The other ending is going to be the Inferno ending, where we don't cleanse any of the beacons, and she'll just be continue being a vendor for us, and eventually she will reveal like her mask. You get to see what she is. The third ending is called the Umbral ending, um, and essentially, again, you don't want to cleanse any of the beacons, and eventually it will end up having to do some specialty stuff where we're going to have to essentially take her soul to be able to do certain things. But the, yeah, the Umbral ending, I'll explain a little bit more when we actually get to that part of the game. But essentially, that's how her quest line is going to be, is if you cleanse any type of beacon, she becomes a boss. If you don't cleanse it, um, she'll become a vendor and whatnot, and just keep chatting with her and get more and more into her inventory. And then when it comes to the Umbral ending, you're gonna actually going to need her soul. All right, so we're going to move on to the boss here. So this boss is really not that hard, to be honest. Um, so essentially, I recommend just being aggressive with this boss. So essentially, what this boss is going to do is it's the archery. They're going to constantly keep shooting arrows at you. They are going to summon dogs. Uh, the reason why I recommend just being aggressive is just because you could pretty much DPS her down quite a bit really quickly. Um, I know one of the dogs will eventually be like a parasite that will protect her. So essentially what you could do is you could try to deeper her down really quickly before the dog becomes a parasite and kill her that way. Or you can kind of go in there, DPS a little bit, run out to like the side over here and then essentially DPS her dogs and then go back in and then go for the kill. Um, so let's just kind of do this in real time. I'm going to buff up my weapon and then just go. All right, let's get in here. So we could just be really aggressive. Like that, and just try to like kill really fast. The dogs can be annoying, so if you're having a hard time with the dogs, you kind of just kind of kite them back this way. Oh, hey man, should kill me. Okay. Let me just kill these dogs then. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's one. go all right and then just go back again and just be really aggressive that's what i recommend and we get her about halfway then you can start soul flare like this and then we'll just go to pick her off she actually got me but you can see here like her health But her move says she just all she's doing is shooting arrows at you. That's literally all she's doing. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, oh, it's actually not that bad of a boss fight to be honest. So she is doing her whole like invisible thing, but it's not that bad. So let me actually uh let her kill me. But essentially you can see here, it's just all she's doing is just shooting arrows. So but I'm gonna actually let her kill me so we can actually just do the fight like for real. Alright, so we're back. So, again, if you feel like you can be really aggressive on this fight, again, I recommend just run up in there and just try to DPS her down really quickly. We're not having to deal with the dogs, but if you're someone who's having a little bit of an issue doing that, then I recommend just pulling, going off to the side, DPS the dogs, and then kind of get back in there. And once you get her, her health down to half, then you kind of just start soul flaying her to kind of finish her off. So we're just going to do it the best strategy. Just not being aggressive and just kind of like playing it safe. So let's just do that. So we'll just get in. 
But again, her movesets are not that bad. It's literally just she shoots the bows. You can parry her like that if you want to. Play this dog here. Because they can be really annoying, especially with the... I think, honestly, what, what, for me, what makes this fight a little bit difficult, I can see, it's just the, the lock-on is so shitty. <laughs> um, so you can see, like, if you are literally... Like, if you're literally uh, aiming at her, and then, yeah, I can see it just being a little bit shitty. So I was trying to get a kick on her. There we go. And then we'll soul flare. Like this. Of course, that didn't work. Come on. So if wherever the dogs come out, there we go. There we go. So I could have done that a lot smoother, but again, I feel like this boss fight, it's not that bad. It's just, it's got to be really aggressive. So again, I, there's been times where I've run up to her and was able to DPS her down without even hitting any of the dogs and then she dies. There's been some times where the one the dogs would be like a parasite. I don't know how, I don't know if that was a glitch or not, but I remember I was being really aggressive and for some reason I couldn't kill her and then... I had to like kill a dog first, but ideally, I recommend if you're having a hard time, just uh, go over there, DPS her, kind of kite back, kill the two dogs, go in there and then soul flare to be able to kind of bring her down. Um, because once you did the soul flay, we're able to easily kill her off before the next batch of dogs. But she's going to keep summoning the dogs over and over again. Um, but nonetheless, she's not that bad of a boss. All right, so we are good. There is not going to be a stigma, which is interesting because most boss fights are going to be a stigma, but I think these are kind of more like sub-bosses, to be honest, um, because she's going to be another... Uh, she's going to be like a normal enemy type later on in the game, and that enemy type, to me, is honestly more annoying than the actual boss, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so you can see here... Uh, what's her name's gone. She's moved on to her next spot. But yeah, so now we can actually head on out. So we're gonna go this direction and we're going to get the vestige. So we get the vestige here. And then this is gonna be a poison resistance. And then there's going to be the vestige right here. All right, cool. And then this is where we are going to end today's video. Let's uh, level up real quick. So I'm at 24. Uh, let's see. Let me check something. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Let's actually... Oh, let's go out a little bit further so I can show you guys here. So this is going to be the next area. Hold on. Let me actually rest so I can get us back into Axiom. Alright, perfect. Good. Alright. So here, we're in this area. This is the area now. Grab that, it's gonna be the map. And then this is the guy that I was mentioning. Apologies for the dour mood you found me in when last I'm not even gonna try to say his uh, name. <laughs> but again, you wanna keep talking easy. to him. You get a, a gesture. I might um, use the word. Keep talking to him. I'm just, you could even, but. This, by us I'm doing just, that, we're continuing the storyline. Some might, but. I'm just, you could even, but. And then he is going to. Hello again. Sell friend. some stuff here. So, if I recommend checking your inventory, May your path be which blessed. is what I was doing here, because you want to have. So we're gonna end today's video here, but the next video we're gonna start things off with a boss fight right from the very start, and that boss is going to be weak to fire, and also it's gonna be doing poison resistance. So I'm just checking, looking to see how much fire salt that I have. So I have six on me, because you can see here we can Hello buy some again, more if we friend. want to. If you want to upgrade a weapon, I recommend buying these. But again, this is kind of pricey, but totally up to you. Um, but if you don't, if you're low on um, poison cure, I recommend picking that up. So that's why I was looking at my inventory to see where am I at. Um, so I got that one, and we got the poison resistant bomb. So we should be good. I got six fire salts, so I should be fine. And also, holy does damage to him as well, but fire would do a little bit more. All right, so we're going to end today's video right here. So stay tuned for part four as we'll be heading into uh, this new area. And then again, part four, we're starting things off with a boss fight <laughs> right from the very start. Um, so, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed part three. Again, the latest boss here, I recommend just if you're having a hard time being aggressive with her, 
then just easily just back up, take out the dogs really quickly, and then go back in there and insult Flare, and you should be able to go. But her basic move says she's literally just shooting the arrows. Um, you just gotta make sure you dodge it and whatnot. I and mean, the big, the big, to me, the biggest issue with that fight is just gonna be the dogs and also just a lock on and you trying to hit the enemy that you want to hit. But nonetheless, it's not that hard of a fight. Um, just gotta be aggressive and just make sure you. You kind of get in there and whatnot. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this part here. So stay tuned for part four. Hope you can dive more a little bit deeper into the game. Like I said, we're going to be starting things off with a boss fight from the very start. Uh, but yeah, what I mean to everyone, hope you guys enjoy this series. If so, hit that like button and subscribe. And stay tuned for more of my beginner's guide to Lords of the Fallen. So what I mean to everyone, have a fantastic week or day. Until next time, have a good one. Later.